Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to work out the number in the middle of two fractions. So let's go straight into the two examples. So example one is to work out the number in the middle of one quarter and four fifths. So the first thing you need to do then is add these two fractions up. Okay, so we'll need to make a common denominator. So our denominator is a 4 and 5. So let's write down our multiples of 4. And write down our multiples of 5. So you can see our lowest common multiple of 4 and 5 is 20. So if we convert these to 20ths. So 4 went into 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so we need to times the numerator by 5, so 1 times 5 is 5, 5 goes into 20, 1, 2, 3, 4 times, so times this by 4, so 4, 4 is a 16. So we can now add the two fractions together because we've got a common denominator, that is 21 over 20. So all we need to do now is half this fraction. Okay, so we can do this by multiplying our fraction by a half. And that will give us 21 over 40. And that's the fraction in the middle of those two. Um, you could do this on your calculator if your calculator is allowed. So it will be a lot easier if you did have your calculator. Let's do one more example. Uh, so we've got to work out the number in the middle of one tenth and five sixths. So again, we just need to add the fractions together. So again, let's make a common denominator. So let's write our tens down and write down our sixes. So our lowest common multiple of our denominators is 30. So if we put this on the bottom of our fractions, so 10 goes into 30, 1, 2, 3 times, so times this number by 3. So 1 times 3 is 3. 6 goes into 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we times that number there by 5, 5, 5 is 25. So we can now add the fractions together, which is 28 over 30. So we can simplify this fraction by dividing the top and bottom by 2, which gives us 14 fifteenths. So all we need to do now is half this answer. So we can do this by times in through by a half. So 14 times 1 is 14. 15 times 2 is 30. Again, we can simplify this fraction by dividing by 2 to give a final answer of 7 fifteenths. So if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.